Hi, good evening. Uh, my name is Nancy Friesen and I am the Restoring Hope Coordinator here at Friendship House. And I wanted to tell you about some exciting things that are happening here. Some of you may know already that some of the things we do with Jobs Through Life classes and Faith and Finances classes as well as the other ministries at Friendship House. But I'm here to tell you today about a new thing that we're doing that we've introduced this month in Roanoke, the first city in the USA to use it. Um, so a lot of churches really want to help those their neighbors who are in need. Um, they want to serve, they're not really sure how. They want to, we all understand that God has called us to go deeper, to build relationships of restoration and reconciliation as his ambassadors. So we have built a, a online platform called Link to Hope that is designed just for that. And you might ask, how is something technology gonna do that? I'm going to invite you to actually to check it out and, and see for yourself. But it is a brand new way to connect to our neighbors in need where they can go on, create a secure account. Uh, while, when someone is in the account, uh, in Link to Hope, they can do a variety of things, from learning resources to connect with service providers, to connect to your church, uh, volunteers. They can post needs, needs and they can meet needs. And we're inviting churches in the area to get involved um, because we feel like the church is the key component to bringing restoration to, in relationships. Um, so we invite you as a church to, to join Link to Hope, to create an account, to recruit volunteers and advocates within your church who will be those who connect one-on-one -on -one with individuals who are in challenging circumstances. So at Friendship House, we have three main objectives to everything that we do. First, we want to provide ministries of mercy to those who are in poverty, just following the example of our Lord Jesus and his teaching. Um, and secondly, we want to faithfully explain and teach and disciple and evangelize um, through, the, through God's word um, to our neighbors here. We believe they, want to, they need to hear the gospel. And in doing so, we want to partner with the local church so that the churches can be faithful to the great commandment, to the great commission, and so that if our neighbors, by God's grace, come into faith, we can put them face to face with the body of Christ so that they can become a part of the body of Christ and be welcomed into the church. My name is Evelyn Carroll and my story for working here at the food pantry started about four years ago when my daughter, who is a veteran of the Navy, we started standing on the other side of the line to come through and receive food for us. I did it more for her because she was in need. One day she approached me and said, Mom, they need help on the inside. Let's go help. So we came across this line and we stand now on the back side of these tables handing out the food to other people who really need. Hi, my name is Pat Carter. I'm the director at uh, Keystone Community Center. Um, Keystone Community Center has uh, been here in this part of Southeast since 1971, but the ministry itself has been around since 1939. And uh, we're so thankful for uh, Annie Mae Broyles offering because it really is a big boost for us at the beginning of the year when we uh, get the funds in and that's when a lot of our big expenses are due. 